guys, this is Queen Mimba, aka the Pombong National, aka Mama Jaden. Merry Christmas! Ah. <laughs> it's Christmas season, and I want to put you in that mood. Ooh, the mood. <laughs> Have any of you ever wondered how Christmas growing up has been for me? Well, today I'm going to share that with you. Don't go anywhere. Um, I mean like the normal one. Christmas clothes. <laughs> That's like, you know, the Christmas clothes, eh, bruh. And you know, there's Okrika Christmas clothes and this. Now, free period, I don't forget any like we just call somehow grade one you know and um, i know that my mom my mom is such 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 he like nyanga very badly he no fit leave me like we're well, close and no oh, we used to wear them she'll do the most she do the most and it's still not fine because these days i look at the pictures i'm like really mom really <laughs> but that time you know so i kill him hey i walk at him oh kumba we show the clothes. Yes. Food, the normal stuff. We did a lot of chin chin. Uh, I mean, that's at my uncle's place because I come from, I don't know, like pretty poor background, you know. So we didn't do chin chin in our house. We went elsewhere to beg for chin chin. But at least we had rice and we had chicken. And I mean, that was the only time we had the opportunity to eat. Rice and stew and chicken. Hey, we don't want so that food. Shop chickens are there. <laughs> Toys. Ha. Please, I've never had a toy as a baby. Never. We played with our imaginations, right? That would be the play. We'll be using that canting tomato them. We make what I so we do now. Mommy play play so funny. Say we buy gare we cook chop for candle with tin tomatoes and stuff like that those are the things we used to play with you know go hide run for house i mean hang around some friends and then play with stuff like that we never had toys unfortunately and um <clears throat> i don't think i don't think i had like the normal childhood that i would like to give Jaden. i mean that's why i work hard right so hi well i don't know that decoration with the paper, where the cut paper, so you the bag, true, she goes there, enjoy the hot. Ha! True, she goes there, enjoy the hot. Cut paper, you the cut paper. Rabba, she go on them place and go and go her soon. And they didn't want me to even hang it in our house. I was so pain. Why? Everyone is doing this. You're spare. When you go back, she go true and true, but big that if you can't hang on, has it denied. Yo, I've been told you in our house, we only listen to Nigerian gospel music we have like four cds that we knew at heart i can't show up those are all the things we sang i beg we didn't know any if we, if we had to if i had to hear something different it was from me walking on the streets or during visiting other people hell yeah especially 31st you want not try not to cross over how Say, escape you feel leave if you not do crossover with church. No, you don't feel leave. It means that a year go end that year. The only reason to be alive the next year is to cross over and make sure you cast all the demons of next year. You know? Hell yeah. Woo, me, moi. Ha. You know the year, so first of all, they're going to bring... <laughs> My cousins or my, you know, I'm just going to have siblings that I have to walk around with. They give me a time that I have to come back home. I can't even walk around for too long. I never witnessed all those Christmas parties where in Kumba. First of all, there's a big difference between Christmas in Africa and Christmas overseas. Over here is such a show off thing. Like, oh, come and see, oh, see my clothes, oh, see my decoration, oh, see trouble, you know. But over there is more family thing. I think the fact that I traveled to Europe, it completely killed the Christmas excitement that, that I had as a child that I grew up with 
completely. Now, so Christmas, the kind of them say, I say, and so that day is just a normal working day for me. And right now, I don't regard Christmas as anything. I guess with Jaden now, it has to be a big deal for me again because you know I have to now start buying Christmas trees and and, and acting like oh it's Santa that brought gifts. Where well, Jaden, I'm going to spoil your life because I'm going to tell you it's not Santa, it's me. I'm your Santa. <laughs> Best Christmas memory was the first time that my mom sent money and she insisted that we receive the Christmas money to buy our stuff because I took it. I remember that I bought this kit that was chauffeuring that time, and that picture was on social media. One pink top like that, only lip gloss on my thick lips. <laughs> Come and see you. Let me tell you that close with Abaya every single day that i entered as i enter my room at the trial as i enter my room at the wear the clothes so that i spoil the zip before christmas <laughs> and that's my best belief to be honest i spoiled my zip before christmas the stress of that i don't know maybe like the celebration of uh of um the savior of the world like it's his birthday and you know, we're happy that we had somebody that came and saved us and saved and washed away our sins, you know. That's what, that's what, I, I can't really tell, that's what I grew up knowing, so. We celebrate our Savior, the day he was born. This year has been a crazy year, COVID-19 is still not done. I can't even believe that we're going to next year with this pandemic still on so i want to wish you a happy merry christmas we're gonna make us a christmas a christmas to you from shades of bailey have the biggest chicken ever you know i i should say that christmas day since it's been so long like since i traveled overseas that i haven't really experienced christmas christmas must stop talk to christmas well, i never experienced christmas for that level i think it's gonna be like a brand new experience for me that day i'm just gonna walk the street because i want to see pikine with that complex complex i want to see pikine with that christmas clothes and stuff like that i miss all that excitement so for me it's, it's it's a big deal for me and then it's gonna be one of the christmas i'm gonna spend with my whole family and with my baby this Christmas is amazing and I wish you all the best. We're gonna have chicken. Enjoy your Christmas. Um, share this amazing time with your family, your loved ones, because you know, COVID-19 no show we say at the end of the day, money is nothing. What really matters is love. Share love this Christmas. Stay tuned, stay tuned for the next episode of Shades of Bailey. See you next time. Hasta la vista. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas from Shades of Bailey. I see you bless me. <laughs>